Beth, uh, positives first of all, was, well, actually, was there anything <laughs> there today? Honestly, I'm absolutely fuming. It's a good job there's been a few match logs for me because when I came out, it's, for me, it's the abilities there, I feel like we're carrying so many players. I feel like some players will never be good enough that from what I've seen recently. I've tried to give them chance after chance, but watching again today making the same mistakes, it's like decision making, it's ability, combined effort as well when you're not playing well. It's like you, it, the least you expect is 100% effort, not even getting that. Only positives I can take from it is Sancho again had another decent game. Not not unreal, not amazing, not what you, you would expect from a Manchester United winger. It, it for, when they're playing at the best but he's still playing a lot better than what he was and miles ahead of some other players on the pitch and I thought as well Pogba played played well again and I'm worried for what's going to happen when he leaves in the summer because he, he he's the reason we kept possession a lot of the times in there like, I worry about the rest of that team yeah I mean without Pogba there it was quite clear that Southampton were doing the high press yeah but Tomini failed twice straight away we knew he wasn't going to be good enough Pogba literally because of his quality kept us in that game and released Sancho a couple of times that's mm. why that's how I seen it without Pogba like you said you're dead right I think Beth that mm. it just shows how badly and how short this midfield is and when Pogba does go in the summer I mean you can't really look look you can't really look past that can you know you've got to wait until the season's over and well, wherever we are we'll deal with everything then because it just looks finished well exactly it's like I said on the fan forum that Tomney's not going to be able to deal with this Southampton midfield he did alright in his last two games but do, do you know what he's a, he's a um, it's like playing a box-to-box -box player in a CDM role in, on his own as well without anyone there and hoping for him to do well and, he's, and he is and he is an average player I think when you're playing into that box-to-box -box role he's going to give you a decent performance most of the time but it's a CDM in that position you, ca you can't expect any more than what you're getting from him yes that shouldn't be the standard of Manchester United but that's just not him as a player and as well for me it's like a football IQ of some of these players I'm questioning you can see what Ralph's trying to do obviously Southampton have a high press when they have the ball we were backing off and then I think we were trying to press in, in trigger as, as a group but people didn't know when to press and people did know when to press it's like Bruno going on his own half the time and it's just not working the pressing isn't good enough from the Manchester United players as well like every few times we got lucky with them giving away the ball but it, it's just not good enough for what we were trying to do and again full effort loose balls decision making it's 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 frustrating it's like when someone misses a chance it's like in, in, in the head it's like right I'm not going to pass it next time when I've got to try and shoot myself you should always be trying to make the correct decision and that wasn't happening today it's just not every week not the same wavelength you said it there first half Rashford did make the right decision yeah. it was a clinical ball and we thought maybe this is that moment that shining light when playing on the right forces him to make that decision because it's his natural foot but in the second half it kind of just disappeared off the planet again didn't it but well that's the thing that's probably one good contribution from Rashford and I've said so many times I like Rashford but come on now time after time it's poor poor performances you could name many wingers in the league that I'd have a much better performance than he has the last few games it is it's actually quite worrying for me it's constantly the wrong decision running into players time and time again no one to stop no one to release the ball and as well that the goal that we conceded loosely tracking back when you're having a poor game you fight for every ball saving energy you want to play on on the counter so he's, he's on the last defender in case we, we get the ball over the top I understand that but in positions like that he's got to be coming back and getting that ball so many times I see people not sprinting back for the ball and he was one of the main culprits today there's, there's other issues as well it's like why, why do we always need the fullback to take a throw in when it's the last minute of the game? Can, can they not take a throw in? It's like it's so un it's like they, it's like they don't have in game management themselves. It's like they have to follow what's been. You've got to know sometimes that you've got to feel the game out and know what decisions to make. And it felt like we didn't have that at all. And, um, I mean, I'm going on myself now, but Maguire as well. I, I, I'm convinced. I'm convinced he has to be picked. I don't. I don't know how a coach like Ralph can actually pick him every week, like with certainty, because he's another one that's making the same wrong decisions comes into the back of someone not past him he's done for pace every time and a few times today they could have scored a few more goals and it would have looked very bad on him he was lucky that's it i mean there's a new poster up right behind you there Beth, which says pretty much everything about this club he said then has ralph actually got any saying what actually goes on right now there's only one man on that pitch that belongs up there for me in terms of actually earning his spot and that's the run it's the problem off the field, like you said, Rashford there, Beth, I mean, with everything he's got going on off the field, it has to affect a young person at that age, and he just looks a shell, a shell of what player came through this football club, and do you know what, Beth, there's been a few that have failed when they've come through here, 
we've seen Hannibal on the bench there today. I was thinking, don't bring him on. Yeah. Don't put the pressure on him. And that's the scary thought right now. It's not fair on them. Well, exactly. And it's like, that's what you're going to rely on now. Because if you look at the bench, there's absolutely nothing on there. We had no midfielder on the bench today. That's a, well, a defensive midfielder to come on for Scott. We had, we had nothing. Um, Lingard, probably your only outlet that he had when Cavani's injured, Alanga as well. But, I mean, it's not the firepower that we once had or we, or we thought we had. I mean, you look at Martial yesterday and I know people will say he wasn't interested, he didn't want to play for us. But he played very. Well. He played well yesterday for Sevilla, and I think he, we could have needed could him have this season. It would. It would have. It would have been an option when you've got players that are underperforming week in week out and still getting back into the team. It's because we've got no other option. I expect the same team next week because there isn't any options there. And it's like if you're going to sell these players or you're going to loan them out, you have to get in replacements. You, that team and we said we'd find it out. It's not good enough. It is honestly not good enough to to, to go do the season that we want to do. And it's actually quite worrying now. Southampton. Fair enough, they played quite well against the, uh, against the big teams, but you expect us in that game, the way that they play today, you expect us to go out and get a result. You expect if we had the right mentality there and, and we made the right decisions, we could have we could have won that game. Burnley as well, letting that go to a draw is just horrendous in game management and, and mentality lost again. And I, I, it comes down to the point that like you just said the board behind me, Varan, great player. If he was in a decent team, he'd be he'd be winning it all. He'd be winning it all. We've got players there that are, that are good enough. Pogba as well. He's not. He had an effort today. He was putting effort into, yeah. into everything and it was embarrassing that players that are going to be here next season actually weren't putting in the same effort that he was and I don't I don't blame the fact he wants to leave he's not going to he's not going to win anything here we're not going to win anything with the, with with the mentality of some of these players and it's like I like Luke Shaw but I didn't understand the, the, the game he was playing. He was caught out of position quite a few times. I don't know if he's been told not to get forward or if, if it's if it's laziness. I don't know, but players just... just It felt like they didn't want to fully, fully go for it. Yeah. Southampton had more effort in everything they did than what we did, and that walking was just the talk, fact. But not walking yeah. the walk. Man of the match before you do go? I'd probably give it to Sancho cause, or, or Pogba. They're there. Um, Varane as well, he gets overlooked every game, but he's he, he just shows how Paul Maguire is for me.